In this video I'm going to show you how to go from this to this and from this to this with one single mouse click. Now take a look at the amount of Windows services and see what happens next. We have now disabled all unnecessary services. Next we are going to disable Bluetooth, printer, remote and Wi-Fi services. Now we are going to disable Windows Update and Windows Store services. As you can see the number has already dropped down but most of the services can only be disabled once we restarted our PC so let's go ahead and do that now. So here we are. Now let's take a look at the task manager. As you can see, the amount of services has dropped down by 50%. So that's definitely a lot of unnecessary spyware that's constantly running in the background which we now successfully disabled. By the way, this will not only disable unnecessary services but also all the unnecessary tasks to increase your system performance and your privacy as much as possible. Now I'm gonna explain how this works in under 60 seconds. If you want to disable, for example, the Xbox Live Networking service, which is currently set to automatic start mode, what you do is double click on the service, right click on the name and select copy. Now right click on your desktop, select new, text document. Rename it to anything.bat. Right click on the file, select edit, use the command scconfig, paste the name from the service, Start, Disabled, Save the file, now right click on the file and select Run as Administrator. Now pay attention what happens to the start mode after we reopen services. As you can see the start mode has been set to Disabled. Now let's take a look how the file actually looks like. You can find all the services and tasks in here. As I have said before, there are currently three different types of categories. Unnecessary services and tasks, Bluetooth printer, remote and Wi-Fi services and tasks, and also Windows update and store services and tasks. Personally, I disable everything to get the best possible system performance, but also privacy. By the way, you shouldn't have any issues with this file, but if anything doesn't work, simply use the reactivate option. Now you have two options, you can copy the code from the video description and create your own file, or you can just download it. To create your own file, simply do what I have shown you before, right click on your desktop and create a new text file, then rename it to anything.bat. Once you created your bat file, simply paste the code from the video description. That's it, your file is ready for use. Your PC should now be a lot faster and cleaner than before. By the way, I'm gonna update this file when new Windows versions are released, so you might wanna check back for the latest version. Also, if you wanna know how to fully remove all the pre-installed spyware and bloatware applications from your system, I'll soon make a video on that. If I helped you with this file, you can support me by pressing the like button and sharing the video, or even better would be if you use the comment section, because then the YouTube algorithm will suggest this video to more people.